is my setup, like how I make these videos. This is this video is going to be just about image quality. Uh, maybe I'll make other videos about like audio and stuff. I already have a couple of videos about that. But I kind of wanted to talk about like what camera do you get? Uh, what lens do you get? What do you have to worry about? Um, so I am currently using the Sony A6400 camera. This came out quite a few years ago. It's actually very common. Uh, a lot of streamers on Twitch and stuff use this camera as like their streaming camera. Um, so I highly recommend Sony cameras. I really like the color science of Sony cameras, which means I really like the way the image quality looks. It's not overly contrasted, overly saturated, to the point that it looks like a cartoon. This has like, you know, kind of a washed out grade of colors. It's not overly, you know, black and white contrasted. You know, colors can be faded. They're not like overly, you know, blown out to try to look like overly colorful. Like a lot of times that happens with like cell phones and like Canon colors. Oh, everybody likes Canon colors. Typically because it's, you know, it's overly contrasted, overly saturated. And, to, you know, so there's different color sciences. Like sometimes skin tones will look yellow or green. Sony colors, typically your skin tone looks a little bit red. So there's these little nuances, but also I think Sony makes the best cameras. They have the, the best autofocus, the best color science, the, the best uh, low light performance of a lot of uh, budget cameras and stuff like that. So, I mean, I, I looked at, I spent a lot of time looking at all the different brands of Canon cameras out there, you know, different brands, uh, like Fuji, even, and like, I mean, I, I spent months, like, researching which camera has the best image quality. So, the, one of the only problems with the Sony A6400 is, if you don't have a good lens, the autofocus will be very wobbly. So, this, 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 this Sony camera actually comes with a stock lens, which is terrible. Um, it doesn't have a wide aperture lens, so it doesn't pick up much uh, light. So you'll have worse low light performance with the stock lens. The autofocus will be wobbly. It'll be like uh, around the edges of the, the, the camera. It'll be like wobbling if you leave the autofocus on. So you have to get a better lens. And one very common popular lens to get with the Sony A6400 is the Sigma lens. 16 millimeter, which means it's pretty good for like, you know, close up. It's not like overly zoomed in. So you kind of want to get like a 16 millimeter uh, lens. So like if you, you don't want it to be too zoomed in, you, you know. Uh, and it, it also has an aperture, a wide aperture of f1.4. The lower that number, the better for low light performance. So like um, if I increase the aperture, the background blur, the, you know, the, see, see how when my hand gets closer to the camera, everything else gets blurrier. If I increase the aperture, the low light performance will uh, decrease, but it will also be less, you know, bokeh, less blurry background. Um, so let me see if I can do that real quick. Uh, let me, let me see. I think, uh, which, how do I do that? Okay, maybe it's this, or maybe, it's, it's been a while. I think this will, uh, change the shutter. Yeah, that changes the shutter. Oh, God. Um, this, th that will not do it. Hmm. How do I change it? I know this will not do it. Um. Okay, so that's the ISL. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. Okay, what the hell is that? That's not what I want. Exposer. Okay, 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 and I, I got, I got, so that's the microphones. Channel 1 and channel 2, that's the microphones. 
that's interesting. We got all these different things. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So it shows autofocus is enabled uh, and some autofocus specifications. Uh, okay, now I'm trying to change the. Uh, let, let me try this. Okay, okay, that did actually do it. Okay. So as I increase the aperture from 1.4, it's gonna uh, look at the ISO. Look at the ISO. Watch, it's gonna start going up. So my low light performance is decreasing. But notice that when I do this, things, things are less blurry behind me. Notice, okay, look at the ISO, it's 6,400. That means the low light performance is really bad. Look, things are getting darker. Things are getting darker. So now I have a aperture of f16. It wants to increase the ISO over 6,400. Um, the image should start to look a bit grainy. So we want this to be as low as possible. We want the ISO, the ISO to be in the low 100s. So now we have incredible low light performance of an ISO of 200. So that means there should be no grain, you know, no grainy grain in the image. Okay, so now we have to talk about the shutter. If you noticed, I'm recording in 60 frames per second. So you want the shutter it to be 1 slash 125. So you want the shutter to be twice as much as the frame rate. So watch if I change the, uh, if I change the shutter to lower, you'll notice it also increases my low light performance. The ISO went from 200 to 100, so the slower the shutter, um, the, the better the low light performance, but watch. Now it looks kind of like those webcams where they're very blurry. So the shutter is not updating fast enough for 60 frames per second, but it's also letting in more light. So it's letting in more light. It's actually getting blown out. So we can... Whoa, it looks like the camera is like stuttering. So if I have it, we can see as I increase it, the light gets darker. And um, it gets smoother, there's less motion blur. So, less motion blur. Okay, so I connect this to my computer. I think I'll switch to my phone in a second here to show you guys this part of the setup, but I connect my camera directly to the, to the computer with the uh, Elgato HD60 Pro. And I basically use OBS to, to make these videos. So it's 160 to 200. That's crazy. Okay, so I think I'm going to switch to my phone for the next part. So we can see, uh, so we can see what's going on. So give me a second. But yeah.
also have to uh, have a delay for the audio so everything is in perfect to sync. So we can see my audio has a delay of 200 milliseconds. So that just makes everything, the audio and the video, in sync. And you kind of have to play with these numbers until, you know, it, it's, it's in perfect sync or it's going to be out of sync. I guess I'll show you some of my OBS settings for, like, video. So those are my uh, bitrate settings. You can like search like what are the, the best settings for YouTube. You know, bitrate for the frame rate and resolution. Uh, give me a second, I have to do something, but like, so this is kind of what you have to do. Um, okay, the last thing I wanted to talk about is the, um, the white balance. White balance is, the, the, the most difficult thing you want to set. Um, you want it to be custom. You do not want to use the presets. Um, and this can take a lot of different tries. Um, so I'm on custom three. Okay. So, like, see, I, I, I dabbled with, you know, see, that's too orange, for example. That's white. That's a little bit more red orange. Do you guys think that one looks better? These are different presets I kind of dabbled with. I thought this one looked the best, I guess. But, like, you can set it. Let's. This one's really best messed up, so let's mess with this one. So. Oops. So we can, this is how you set the white balance. You get something white or gray. You push set. Press the button to capture data. See this circle right here? You want to put something white in front of it. And then push the button. So, does that look good? Is that, is that better? Is that better than my, my current preset? It better not be.
Doesn't it? I said this one a long time ago, number three. So it's very difficult. Which one looks more accurate? I don't know. But that's how you set the white balance. Um, and you may want to, you know, test it. So anyway, that's it for this video. White balance, if you have OCD, is like the number one thing that you can mess up and it will mess up all the colors. Okay, I'll see you guys later. That's, that's how I do my recording setup. Okay, I thought I would add this to the end of the video, but I do use a compressor on my audio, and that is just to prevent uh, the audio from, you know, clipping and going red. Like that. You don't, you don't want it to go red like that. So. You can download something called Reaper uh, VSTs. They're free, and uh, you can add them to OBS. So those are my settings, and uh, I want you to look at this. You want that to occasionally, you know, go up. Uh, by like, um, a, a few, uh, decibels. Like that, that just shows you're compressing. Anyway, just copy those settings. The threshold, the ratio, the attack, the release. Just copy all those settings. And then you add a gain boost. You know, we have 10 dBs of headroom. Uh, we have to add that back. So I do 10.